What's going on guys? The next thing that we're going to do today is I want to hook a wireless uh, remote to my winch because uh, the cable that I, or the wire the you know the remote that came with it that I actually bought aftermarket it's got like a 15 foot or 10 foot actually I think it's 10 foot wire on it so it kind of limits limits me makes me stay near the truck uh, and if something were to happen I don't want to be near it so I went to Harbor Freight and I bought this Badland uh, wireless winch remote the problem with it is that it is a five pin and mine is a three pin so we're just gonna try to wire it in make it work okay so as you can see this is a three plug and this module here is five five pin so not only is this like female connectors here but these are male connectors so technically these are supposed to go together so this wouldn't even work on my winch anyways um but i'm gonna thinking about trying to take the module out of this case and actually set it inside of the winch cover so um, let me get this apart and I'll show you what I'm talking about okay so that's all this is is uh, this little motherboard and it's got a the blue and brown are going to be in and out. This is going to be, this yellow is going to be my power. And this black is going to be my ground. I'll, what I'll have to do is uh, I'll end up having to cut this plug off and then soldering some wiring together and then ground this to the actual, um, that's why I was saying I want to take this and actually set it inside of my winch cover and uh, we'll take that winch cover off right now to see if that'll even work Okay, so as you can see, it's the same thing. We have a blue, a brown, and this yellow green for the power. And for the controller, the wireless controller, we have a blue, brown, and a yellow for the power. The only difference is this black. Now, this does have five prongs, but obviously one of them is not used because there's only four wires in there so this should actually work and be pretty simple and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to splice some wires uh and try to mount this like down in there maybe somewhere or uh like maybe wrap it in electrical tape or something and set it in there so that way it's out of the elements for the most part so we're going to strip this wire this wire that wire that wire you know, I think I'll probably just wrap this with a bunch of uh, electrical tape. There we go. This enables me to keep my fuse. I can tell you real quick if this is going to work or not. Okay, so in this instance, blue is my power. I'm not sure why it's set up like, like that, but it is.
Now, I already popped this fuse, so we're gonna bypass it. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of that fuse. So, I don't have any eyelets. I looked all over, couldn't find them. So what we're gonna do here, tie these two together. Unfortunately, I'm going to use these connectors. Uh, I hate these connectors. I really do, but they are they are all I have right now. Test it out. We should have in. We should have out. Nice. getting really hot it's just warm I think I can wrap that up for now keeps it from anything from being able to touch that and then all this wiring here will tape together I went ahead and wrapped up that yellow wire just in case. Just in case it were to side the melt or something. Hopefully it doesn't touch anything until I catch it. Alright, the, uh, the camera died but I am all finished up. I got that tucked away in there. I, uh, I put electric tape over everything. Uh, that yellow wire, it kind of was getting a little warm. I uh, put electric tape over it. Um, you know, I guess we'll see how long this works, but uh, as you can see, there's no plug or no uh, cord hooked in there. I'm just gonna close that up. And we're gonna use this as in. I've got 
my little knob turned for in and out out is free spool in is you know not free spool so uh let's see that says in right here and we actually do need the winch in so we're gonna put a little pressure that's nice yeah now that that works that's cool and I can actually put a little like uh, rope or something on here you know to make sure I don't drop it or lose it so I can hold on to it so sweet okay so the next thing that I need to do is replace this snatch block um, I broke the heck out of that thing uh, I had to pull some trees out of the ground and uh, so I ran the the winch cable over the top of it and I was just yanking it out of the ground and I actually broke that snatch block and I'll show you yeah. that's freaking cool but uh yeah I did a number on that thing these were cheap anyways. I got these from uh, Northern Tool. But they were kind of cheap. So uh, I had actually bought two of them. And I just, I never took the, this one back. So, um, yeah, let's get that little pin out and get this put on. I believe this worked again that's badland from harbor freight paid like 40 bucks for it just rewired it uh, might have to go down later down the road and put some thicker wiring on that thing to resolder it but that's really no big deal um, yeah so yeah so I think that's probably gonna complete uh, this little project and to finish it off you know I gotta take a drink of some sweet tea I don't know where everybody's from but you ain't getting sweet tea unless you're from west texas i mean we got some of the best sweet tea around so also don't know if y'all realized but i got me a new cowboy hat finally i got the same one that i crushed i had to get it made and shipped but this is my favorite hat it always has been uh i was pretty upset that i ran my other one over so uh, I finally tracked down somebody who had one because nobody local had one. I had to order it from about six hours away. Waited two weeks for it to get here. They custom put this bound edge on it here, this brown, and then they, they, custom, uh, they custom molded it, everything for me. So um, shout out to Catalina Hatters out of, I think, Bryan, Texas. If you guys need any hats, go to their website, check them out. Uh, they're freaking awesome. I'm not getting paid by them, I'm just promoting them because they did me right. Um, yeah, and if y'all like videos like this, you know, subscribe. I, I'm trying to I'm trying to keep a steady basis of these videos, so if y'all like them, hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it, and on to the next one.